Sprinkles are such a great addition to cakes, cookies, or ice cream, and the best part about these homemade sprinkles are that they taste really good too. Customize this sprinkle recipe with different colors for different holidays or different flavors. Welcome back, or if you're new here, my name is Kate, and this is Bake That. Sift one cup of confectioner sugar into a large bowl. This will help break up any sugar clumps in the mixture so it pipes easily. Add one and a half tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of light corn syrup, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Use a hand mixer and mix these ingredients together. Feel free to substitute the vanilla extract with almond extract or another flavor for different flavored sprinkles. The light corn syrup will help hold this mixture together. Once everything is mixed, sift a half cup of confectioner sugar into the mixture. Mix the confectioner sugar into the mixture. You may need to add just a little bit more water until the consistency is thick enough to be pipeable. If more water is needed, add only a teaspoon of water at a time. Transfer the mixture to small bowls in equal portions and add some food coloring and stir using a spoon. I love using the Maricolor Gel Food Coloring since you only need to use a little to get vibrant colors, but any liquid or gel food coloring will work. Get creative with the colors or have these sprinkles as light or bold in color as you would like. These sprinkles would also make great gifts, especially to any bakers. Cover this icing when you are not using it so it does not dry out. Transfer the icing mixture to a small sandwich bag with one of the corners cut off or a piping bag to pipe lines on a piece of parchment paper. You can also make small confetti sprinkles too by piping little dots onto the parchment paper. If you prefer to use a piping tip, a number four piping tip works best. When piping the lines, let the icing fall onto the parchment paper instead of piping directly onto the parchment paper. Chill the lines that you piped for 12 hours, letting them harden in the refrigerator. Once chilled, use a sharp knife or your fingers and break up into sprinkles. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week to bake more good things.